big bridge pile. People, this is full on. Um, we also have a special guest. We have Mick, he's a truck driver. He's going to have our special comments. There you go, Mick. Good, thank you, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, we're also going to, because it's raw and real, and we've got a real truck driver here, so we've asked him to um, change some words to ScoMo and Dan, uh, Dan Andrews or Dandrews or ScoMo if he happens to say any profanities. So he will be told off if profanities do come out and be reminded it's no, it's ScoMo or Dan Andrews, whichever word. But no profanities. We'll have a bit of fun with that. Now, talk about a bit of fun. I absolutely scomo Dan Andrews this big time, okay? <laughs> um, so, um, here's us going really cool. There's no nothing to do with scomo. Sun was shining, that's those Sun was shining, exactly. There's no such thing as scomo with Dan Andrews there. But, um, mate, um, Mick, get how, how long prior to the, the downpour was this? Oh, jeez. I don't know. I think probably. that was early on the day, yeah. Yeah, so people get ready. Uh, I'm going to hand the mic over to Mick and, and uh, um, hopefully you'll remember that Dan Andrews and ScoMo uh, replacing profanity words. <laughs> um, and I'll probably share the mic with, uh, uh, well, I'll hold over actually. So here we go, um, people um, driving into Jinjin, oh, a, a bit of a rundown. See, so Mick's here, so you guys know that he's going to rag on me big time because I am a professional <laughs> driver. I really am. And they've, got his, the, they've got his boat stuck in the waterway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, and I've met him from start doing the Council Government Watch, and even when I first met him, and we're talking about the ride drives and stuff. He told me about this place called Jinjin. Do you know, we're in this place called Jinjin now, and he goes, whatever you do, when you get to Jinjin, either don't stop in Jinjin, or just when you get over there and there's rain happening, Jinjin is where your problem is. Yes. Now, he's told me this beforehand, and then I said, we're going up to Queensland, Townsville. He goes, remember Jinjin. Yeah, yeah, I remember Jinjin. Yeah. So where did, uh, do you know, where that, uh, whereabouts did I have this uh, accident with, uh, this problem with this encounter with this bridge? Whereabouts, close was it to? Well, I would reckon it was probably only about 15 kilometres from where I went and rescued the other gentleman that had a uh, another vehicle that was stuck in the waterway in exactly the same circumstances that you did. So, near Jinjin? Near Jinjin, coming into Jinjin. What did you tell me about Jinjin again? I said, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to know it, Jinjin. Well, I tried not to, but guess what I did? You stopped. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, a few people prior to you and after that have not entirely had their own choice of stopping in Jinjin because there's been accidents, there's been everything. So what is that? Is that, that Tararan, this uh, crossing that we went over? Tararan? Tarran Creek. Tarran Creek, is it? Yeah. Is yeah, that... they, it, it is notorious. There is about three or four creek crossings here. Um, yeah, and you pretty much run the gauntlet. So, so how many times a year would Tarrant Creek, you have known your experience, um, um, overflow? Three to four times a year. Uh, this is not a country road, this is a state highway, a, a national federal highway. Federal, federal highway, yeah? Yeah, it is, and, and it, it's just a goat track, unfortunately. Uh, where the main parts of the uh, road works are happening, it's tidy. Other part from that, it's just, it's not safe. It is not safe whatsoever. Well, let's get into this. Here we go. Check this out now. Um, um, me, I'm going to let you hold the uh, phone and you can um, scomo and Dan Andrews as much as you like. Just tell me, and that you can use that for uh, expressions of what you're seeing right now. Okay. Uh, here we go. I'll give you an example, all right, mate? Go for it, mate, because um, I'm, I'm virgin, in virgin territory. Scomo, me, that's heavy rain. <laughs> Well, you should scomo and wait and see what happens now. Because <laughs> I absolutely Dan Andrews this one up. <laughs> Mate, it's coming down like scomo and Dan Andrews like nothing else. I've never, it's been an absolute scomo of a rainstorm. Yeah. This is what we called over, just to uh, chill out because it was getting a bit heavy, so what? Can you remember the name of that servo? Super 7. Super 7 servo. You know that one, Mick? Yeah, it's just back up the road here, mate. So we just chilled out there for a while. I think I only got a bit of shadow there, too. When we yeah, you got about an hour and a half. So we stopped him, Mick, for about an hour and a half. It actually stopped riding because it didn't show that. And I was watching cars coming up and down. I'll hang on, stop. This, this, this is for a while. Yeah, it's so not just as you're leaving the... Uh, 
That's just as you're leaving the servo now. No, no, no. Okay, so this is when we turned up to the servo. We stopped for an hour and a half, right? Right. And it hadn't rained for an hour and a half. And there was trucks coming up and down, like, like yeah. nothing on earth, okay? Yeah. So I spoke to the lady in there. She goes, mate, it's not close. The trucks, we'll watch the trucks go up and down. So we started. We got there. There's a few things that missed out of the next part. And I was, we were stuck in the traffic jam. And this is where I need to pe- let people understand. This is where I stuffed up as a professional driver. <laughs> Can you not laugh at me? So um, what I did, is I, uh, it started raining, Lauren, and it started raining really heavy again. And on Google Maps, it said there's a uh, roadworks up ahead, and that's why I thought the uh, Mick was saying this roadworks, and you're going to be waiting ages. So I thought, fine, no worries. Um, but what I should have done, because we waited for an hour, I should have, even though it was raining, get out, walk down the passenger side of the trucks, jump up, tap on the window, say, excuse me, I don't have a CV, I don't know what's going on, can you let me know? Because I would have found out that there was water going across the road. That is probably the best tip. I mean, most traffic is nice place. If you want to find some information like that, I'm yeah. sure they'll help you to tell you. I'll just jump on the CV and say, they all know, actually, because we're all sitting there talking while, while they're sitting there. They've got a good form of communication yeah. between everyone. It's basically just the people in the passenger cars that don't know what's going on. And we learned that it will show it here. So we left about an hour and a half there, and it wasn't raining, but when we got there, it was. And we're in this line, and when we started moving forward, this is not in there, but as we, and there's other parts which we're, we're going to document afterwards with Johnny, but uh, um, when we started going in there, it was clear water from the side, right? Well, but then back up a bit, Johnny, because yeah. once we were coming down, you could see there was one, one truck coming southbound yeah. and then one truck would go northbound yeah. one truck southbound so they were going across and still at that stage you couldn't see what was going on until we got down to the bottom yeah. where the water went, was uh, and then where the water is right and you're like okay well it's, it's only you know it looked like on their tiles a couple of inches going past yeah, yeah. so you're making that call you can't turn around there. We've, got a, we've got a 28 seater bus plus a trailer you can't turn around there yeah, you got and, the right. and, you've got, and you've got the semis coming yeah, one way you haven't, you haven't got the weight well, behind you oh. to be able to get across there safely well I mean, mm. This is another thing, when, I real, when, when we realised that Johnny, there's water on the side, and when I said that, we're already in the water, and we're behind the truck. And this is where we've just entered. And by the time we've entered, and everything, this, this shot, the next shot you'll see, is where five or ten seconds after entering the water and going from no water to a little bit of water, to some water that was about three centimetres high. Yeah. Is that when you stepped out of the vehicle? No, I did not. Right. No, we well, didn't. Well, I stepped out of the vehicle. I hope not. Well, no, I'm just asking. No, no, no. You had all you had. I didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't down Andrew to scomo that, no way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. in the world, I wouldn't in so the scomo do that. You didn't scomo it up until a little bit later on then. Well, no, I scomo Dan Andrew did it up, you'll see it in a second. Uh, well, yeah, as, as, and then you see the footage, you'll see the truck ahead of us that we're following, and it's really important to see the water, the calmness of the water that's in front of us, but then as we go, that's when we just, we, the timing was bad because we we're at the beginning of a time. <laughs> yeah, and, and you see that, we'll stop you, 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 you also talks. have to bring into consideration the uh, consumption of truck, right? Because they, <laughs> they drive lit up, up here, I guarantee you. It's so big Johnny's on the floor laughing. That was a bit hell of a bit uh, yeah, Johnny's had a few patterns, I was like, okay. smashing his head, not too that one, too, that one. <laughs> We're trying to start when he get in court. He said, he said that one would call it Palaszczuk. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, let's get going, we'll, see, we'll come back and have a look at that. But look, the point is, you're saying that there are a lot of drivers out there, we... Um, okay, so we'll get there, at, we will get there. I'll roll it out. We'll get there, but um, you were saying that, so, so watch out for the type of truck drivers out there, there is a big issue. We'll actually cover it maybe with that a little bit later in the future, I think. I'm just digging my hole in it. Like yeah, you just, you don't, you don't follow the big boys, mate, I guarantee you. You let them but, go, mate. I mean, look, at the height of that, of the water behind that, Truck there. That what's that? What do you call those bars at the bottom there that stop cars from going underneath the truck? They're just a uh... so a car saver, all right. Let's yeah. call the car saver bars, and they're usually only a few inches off the ground, aren't they? Well, because they're supposed to hit the bumper bar and stop it from going under the truck. Well, I know the one on the front. Um, it actually helps to, I suppose, roll the person that you've just run over 
under the truck <laughs> right. rather than spit them out to the side. Right. That's <laughs> just like collecting them. Yeah. Right. Sure. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, I'm seeing raw information. Yeah, that's that's right. It's all going to pick the truck here off. It's straight up. But, 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 let it, but let it play because you yeah. know what? I think these guys, they, yeah. they are absolute masters of defying the laws of gravity. Well, see, so you're looking at about a couple of centimetres or yeah. maybe t- and yeah. calm, that water's calm. Yeah, yeah. You're, and you're looking at eight you know, nine, but see, yeah. it is some. No, it's it starting is, this it now. running fairly quickly. Yeah, now. it's running fairly quickly now. Yeah. Watch it really fast. It speeds yeah, yeah. up. No, sorry. Look, you I can throw it. You, 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 you can throw a boogie board out of the right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> right that way, Ben. It's an old right hand. Stop. Jesus. Now, okay, right. I know. Now, watch. So, now, have a look. This is great because we can actually stop it. That is the guardrail for the bridge. Yeah. See how the water's not coming over that? And this is why we worked out we just hit the torrent at the wrong time. We needed to be there. Right yeah, where right up, right up his clap. But I was also worried, but when I was trying to... And, that's and right. he would have been in, in, uh, in his way as well, on his way. Well, yeah, yeah. But you, you, if you're not sitting six inches behind him, you may as well be exactly. that's a, a, a kilometre and a half behind yes, him. Exactly. So here we go. Yeah. Watch this now. Watch I'm going to stop it again quickly. Watch. Yeah. Now stop. It's already starting to flow all the way up here. See how it comes yeah, higher yeah. here? So it's actually higher here. So you can yeah, see it starting to, uh, uh, as the bridge descends. Yeah, see yeah, see, and it's not coming over there, but it's coming over up here. It's just yeah, jumped yeah. up two foot, right? So you just see how the tiny how rough the water is there. It just picks up, and then right beyond the, bu- right the truck, it's still calm. And then, yeah, look at it. and now it's just completely running out of there. Now, yeah, now, there. now in the middle of the torrent, now you go, oh, sorry, now in the middle of the torrent, the, the, it's about two and a half foot in a couple of seconds, so I'm thinking, yeah. and I don't know what me, uh, cool, cool Luke over here, Johnny was telling, but I was, my, I was thinking, it's going to hit in about three, it's going to be over the bus in yeah. about two minutes, right? Yeah. So I'm on the right, right? Check this out. Yeah, I was sort of just, to be honest with you, I was, uh, on that time thinking, like, okay. seeing how much water so it was. It's just about, it's only about six inches off the top of the rail there. Mm-hmm. Boom, it just starts Here to fill go. right up. Huh? Wow. We're going to go in right, we're going to split, and uh, Johnny's right up the right. And John, this is what we're going to do, we're going to get out the top. There's, uh, that's uh, Brian, Brian from Bundy, that's his truck. Right. Um, big shout out to the Lindsay Transport Company. Um, your slogan is uh, very fitting, it says Australians seeking excellence. And um, I have to say, that Brian's effort was excellent. Yeah, it was. He, uh, he, put his, he put that truck, he put his own... Uh, line and his family and everything yeah, else. On the line. And yeah, um, right. while, I was, while we are on top of that bus, we have to remind, we, did, we didn't have any signal, it was a dead spot. I tried to ring AAA five times and nothing, I couldn't get through. So we are getting pretty desperate and I was signalling to the, uh, to Brian on that side because he was probably the closest side of the truck driving. And was just signalling that we couldn't get no phone, that we had no phone, that was dead. Shake, you know, shaking my arm, saying, "What are we doing? You know, can we help?" I think I was screaming. Well, I've got the rig voice on there and, <laughs> and yelled out a couple of things. Yeah. That, oh, you yelled out, "Scream, my Dan Andrews, help!" Yeah. I was thinking, "Someone, Scream, do something." <laughs> oh, Scream, Dan Andrews, say please. Yeah, but hey, Lindsay's and that, they, they have all the ScoMo in their trucks, okay? <laughs> they, they've got everything. They've got, they can, they've got fridges, TVs, the whole lot. Right. Um, so they are decked out to, was a big to the long haul. Yeah. And, uh, mate, they are. Yeah. And he, he, he knew, look, he, he what sort of truck is that, Nick? That's a, what's that, Kenworth? Well, that's a Kenworth, that Long nose Kenworth, yeah. Right? yeah. Think, but yeah. see, if, if you have a look up there near where the rear view mirror is, there's actually a monitoring mirror. And uh, if the drivers tend to look left or right, there's actually somebody that comes over the uh, the GPS and says, oh, it's front, please drive. Really? You, you cannot look to the left or the right? No, no. At all? Uh, that's right. They, they monitor you. They are looking directly at you as you're driving. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm Super serious. safety. Yeah. So, oh, hang on, so, eyes so, front, please well, drive. So eyes, 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 eyes front, please drive. So they go to this much, yeah. this much hassle with that, but they don't go and Johnny will get you to go on about right. the business. And they cannot, man, and they right. cannot man a um, driver reviver site in in Queensland. I've seen two open in the last two weeks, uh, as opposed to the last eight or nine months. Right. So, 
Um, I want Johnny to remember to go on about what is going on and where these businesses, big businesses, have a lot of power to fix these roads as well. Well, it's just a bit surprising. Yeah, well, so have, make sure we go back this yeah, year. Johnny's got a really good point, but have, have a look at this, mate. I'm going to have to stop and explain something to you, too. So, this is after. Yeah, Alright, so we've had, well, this is after we've boat jumped across from there to here. Yeah, as I was to remind everybody, it was, uh, it was raining and that trailer was landing off on a big cake of soap. Mm. So, I, I went, well, Johnny, you went first, you want to talk when you went. Alright, so yeah, well, I went, I went, I went la la land. This is, this is, this is, well, I'm still waiting for a bit more shot, there you go. So I've had to jump, and I've jumped across, and so um, Brian brought his truck in. He realised, not that he wanted to, I know he didn't want to, because I know I wanted to come out, so I hope it'll be all right, to be honest, because yeah. Brian's got you know, his truck and, and the gear on, a couple of million bucks even. And family. And, and family, family, exactly, and grandkids um, mm. um, and that he's got, and we spoke to him, and so he's risked this, and this kills me, Mick, because I made him do that. Not that my mistake made him. So what I'm talking about, people, is I wasn't a, a traffic jam. I didn't have um, uh, a, a, a line of trucks. I didn't have uh, coordination in that way. I realised I should have got out. I should have spoken to the drivers beforehand. If we're sitting there for ages, and if we know it was raining, Stupid. I knew what the scenario was. I knew what the risk is. But in what we're doing, it is important that we get to where we get to. So I jumped across, and when I've jumped and landed, I've, I've had to I've landed flat-footed, and Mick, the Brian, he actually got, when I, when I, I came to, but I knocked myself out, so I flipped up, and I said, smashed my head on there, and he goes, my hands are straight up in the air like the knockout, and he said to me, when I got, finally got in the bus, he goes, and we talked about it, because I just... I, it was completely black. I could hear everything. Yeah. I could hear it, and I knew the truck was in front of me, the bus was behind me, um, I was completely blacked out, and I, I felt like I was falling forward, right? And so if I fall forward, I thought I'll just stay calm, and, I, and as soon as I feel the water, the bumper bar's going to be in front of me and grab it. Guess what? Brian said that I was going backwards. Right? Oh, yeah. So I was going backwards, and instead of thinking, hit the water first, my feet, my head would, head would have into the A-frame and with oh, a white brake brake fire, you gone. But he goes, you start sliding, he goes, and, and then I did come to, to, like I realised I had to come to, I came to, and I just put my hand straight down and I just sat up, and I looked up and saw Brian come out, I opened the door like I thought he was going to come get me, and I just yeah. thought, no way, yeah. even then I realised I ain't letting him risk his life, he's already done it, I yeah. hate myself so much, and this is why I'm yeah. doing this, to let people know, I've knocked out and I've just sat up, and I've seen him said, just stop! And he's gone right, he's realised I've co uh, yeah, right. co some coherence, yeah. and, coherence in me. And I just said, stop. And he goes, get up. Why don't we go over the bumper bar? One, 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 um, I'm on one either side, so I'm hooking in there because he's going to reverse out. And that's basically what I turned around. I was on the yeah. roof when they say, yeah. I'd jump back in the, into the bus to get a couple of things out. Um, and I got back on, and then I was standing there, and Johnny just yelled out, he goes, be careful, it's slippery, I'll just knock myself out. <laughs> <laughs> so just knock the damn entrance <laughs> coming out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought to myself, all right. And I remember standing on the back of the bus there, and just before I jumped, it was just like, I felt like I was in a scene of Ninja Warrior, and I'm like, I'm going to land on this thing, and I can't make a mistake here, right? <laughs> oh, cool. So I thought, I'm jumping, and I'm just going to go for the, you know, land on your feet, but go straight to your bum. Yeah, and, um, mate. Execute that pretty well, Johnny. <laughs> and another thing is, um, I wasn't actually groggy, so I was actually really yeah. together, but Johnny realised I wasn't, so I was yeah. 70%. But I realised, and I've had my leg, and that's when Brian's gone to lock in and reach, get, he actually reminded, just hinted to me to reach out just in case, because he told me afterwards, he goes, mate, you're gone, mm. you're out. I thought you were dead the way you hit it, and mm. you're sliding. So yeah. I was, he made me realise, I'm going to get ready, because I ain't losing you, mate. I'll put you in that place, and you've. And if you're going to fall, I'm going to grab you. I won't even try to. At least yeah. I don't want to see oh, watch it. Off a little bit. Freaking switch. <laughs> the, the irony is, after this, this is night before last. Yes. No, it was last. It was yesterday. Last yeah, night. Yeah, no, it was last night. Yeah, yeah, night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Night before last. Yeah. Not four hours from here, there was a woman at Morani, which is uh, out west of Mackay, was killed. When her vehicle went down the. Was that the day before? Yeah, that's in Morani. Yeah. Because there was another it's one. It's only just up the coast. 
There was a lady, yeah, I mean, this is happening yeah, way too much, isn't yeah. it? They, they target spots like this. I know they do. Because they know that as soon as there's X, X amount of rain, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. There are people that live here that, that rely on Trans the ability of, to just even drive passage. up one simple little road. Yeah. And you're saying and this, this is years, this yes? is, Oh, yeah, this has happened for years. Like 50 years or more. more. Since the roads have been always have been. I've been hitchhiking up and down these roads since I was 15, 16. Is that, that's, is that how you went to try? That's 40 years ago. That's nice, yeah. you know. Really? Where is the accountability? Yeah. 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 I don't know where I'm at. There's not much grows in places like that, yeah. mate. I haven't seen or done in, in, in this beautiful state. You know, and, and even just the last week, I was uh, 300 kilometres into the Northern Territory to pick up two four wheel drives. You know, so it's um, it, it, the expanse is huge. Great, great, ready? Let's move on. Yes, great, great example. This is what I'm loving having Mick here. So, not down, but now, so right from here onwards, we've actually got on the front of the of the uh, truck. Now, it's cut out. It wasn't the truck got stuck. Well, that's right. You're you're coming from the front of the bull bar, and as he was trying to reverse out, he started having some difficulty because his front wheels on the, the front axles were getting hooked up on the the bitumen that was actually they'd broken away. And then his back trailer, his back brakes on the back trailer, something yeah, there's no pressure on them, or he started they started seizing up. <laughs> he couldn't he couldn't unlock them or something. So the back trailer was working against him. My God. And, right. so, and I'm thinking, I've just destroyed his hip. Well, I've done this. He's going to lose you know, all the yeah, stuff yeah, to go wrong. His cab, his cab started, do, started going on a 45 oh, no. like this. No, I'll tell you, he yeah, started yeah. getting worried. Yeah, and then, yeah. as we are on this, I'll start filming like this. I'm with Johnny, because I'll start, you know, I'll work on the rigs. I'll climb around. I'll start yeah. hanging off the the rig. I went around the side, and I'm off of the mud guards. So I'm on the side of it. I was over the front wheel. And then I'll start down. I'll start, start bouncing. So we start bouncing on the cab, right? Like this. Yep. And it starts getting traction. It just starts to get, you feel it going oh, over that thing. Oh, and then no we go, well, and then we put our foot on, we put our foot on the trailer, right? We got this down, right? We push it on the trailer. And what else, mate? We start pushing what it, it and it's going. It's and it's going. We go, oh, yeah. yeah. He's got it up. Oh, it's not going to lose his He's going to be alive. He's saying now, but the guys are gone. And this is such stupid because yeah. we just should have realised, and I know this, and I'm saying this, and we're doing this because we want people to realise, yeah, whether I say I'm a professional driver, I'm laughing about it now, mate. We will, we'll, and because it was right, rising at yeah. two and a half foot. Harry McLeary, it was. Now, you ready for this? You know, yeah. you know we're still here? Because it didn't rise any further than that. That's yeah. why, and yeah. I thought, and that, and we, watch this. Look at that, and didn't rise any further than that. Yeah. Really lucky. But that, that, is, right. that is quick, hey. If you, went, if you went in there, you'd be gone. You can't help it. That's like Realistically, you'd you have to be, be thinking about where you're in. Well, we were on top where of you're in, Where you're in, destination. Yeah, well, that's what Because that journey, you got yeah, no control. As when we were standing on top of that roof, before, yeah, we, decided to, yeah. um, before we decided to get on, jump up, or before we saw Brian start coming out with his truck, I said to Johnny, I said, this start, because we were standing there at that time, at that time, the bus was still stable, so there wasn't enough pressure to move in the bus. It wasn't floating or anything yet, right? So he's sitting there going, all right, so I'm just like on my surfboard, really, it's just a big surfboard. And I said to Johnny, I said, this starts moving, there was trees, like, downstream of it, just all these saplings, like, yeah. eucalypts. And I said, if we go, I said, you aim for that, just get, you'll, yeah, you'll catch one of them and just hold on to one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's we already worked out. We already worked so out. From here, out there, so yeah. from here, did he come directly behind you? Yeah. Wouldn't take a thing off us, but uh, that's how money came in. Now, we thought we were gone. Now, you can see it slowed down, so luckily it didn't become a wall of two or three metres. There's Brian there. You go, is, there all, is there any more passengers in there? No. He yeah, was an absolute legend. He was. He was so. Calm, he just rose to the challenge, he did, he just put, you know, everything by his side and just did the old yeah. spirit thing. This is day break. This is day break. So there was no... When you're pulling 60 tonne though, hey, like, I mean, it's going to take a fair torrent of water to knock you over the edge. Yeah, but it was only in front of it, not the whole stuff. thing, the whole truck was... Okay. The so, thing is, you don't know what's coming though, do you? Look, well, there you go. 
Did you get the wisdom to, there, guys? To a certain extent, see, these guys, they they do that run three times a week. Mm. Yeah, they're he, back down on the... Well, he's, he said he's on Barbie Earth. Yeah. So, but, okay, so you can see it, it got a, a running over that so there was a yeah. torrent. We did call it a torrent. Yeah. It wasn't like we were driving through this water. We wouldn't have done it. Actually, yeah. we well, would have probably got through see, You can see by the the, the trees on the right-hand side there, mate, you know. That's the right hand. There's the trees. I said to Johnny, if we jump on, we yeah. catch on to there. Yeah. It's not very big either. Anyway. And I've actually got, you know the video I showed you before? The one up today? Yeah. yeah. That, that's what we're driving. That's how big this was. Mm. So what, they don't... This is a national highway. This shouldn't have happened to anybody. And if well, you think, well, what we come down a hill. You come down the hill, you approach that. Why wouldn't you be going up that hill, 100 metres, and building a bridge from that metres down to the other side? Well, but that's, oh, what, I'm it, saying. Could, no, that's it's, what I'm saying. They have it structured so that these are periodic isolation events. Right. And you say this happened three or four times. Oh, mate, look, it, it's so, happened for the last 30, 40 years. Okay, so it's not a the, common... They are always fucking... No, it's not a common... They always go, cut off, like, I mean, for, for so long, you know, and it, it, it takes sometimes this not is, more than about eight is, or nine drops of rain, yeah, and, and yet in other areas, it, it's isolated, right. like, I mean... Okay. You know what, this is what's important about having the network of people. You've only got to go two weeks. You've only got to go two hours west from here, and it's it, it is dry. Bone it's dry. dry. And you're talking about also the dry when you're up there. All the main rivers are actually empty. This is so the this main. Is I've, I've, so mate, I'm right recovering this on the way up. Mate, yeah, there's, there's, right there's, up there's empty EM, EM cut. So between Townsville and Cairns, there's seven lots of what they call waterfalls. Oh yeah. Okay. But in between there, there's four main rivers. And you cross them, I think Connell is one of them, uh, the, the Reed River, I think, is another. Um, I, I, I would have to physically go back out. Oh, we're we're yeah. doing a segment for sure. That's right. But uh, look, honestly, for when I was to drive over them, if I, if I had the opportunity to just pull straight over and go back and take a photo, you would be amazed at, at, at all of these main tributaries, rivers that are dry and all of their little uh, arter, uh, arter, yeah, arterial yeah, yeah, I mean, all the yeah, rivers, all the river, 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 little rough. arterial rivers yeah, are, are flowing and, and you can see it because it happens so often, it, it happens Well that's a local knowledge of country Oh, really yeah. I, I watched I, I watched, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to that for sure, oh, I'm sorry because um, we'll, because we've got more with, with Mick, Mick's actually obviously going to help us and listeners, see if you can follow up and find out some more evidence about what he's talking about oh, these, um, these rivers, there will be <laughs> there will be even even in Mackay itself there's uh, mixed rivers we'll call it well this is a voice for the people this it, is what doesn't come out of mainstream media there's uh, uh, mainstream well, information there, we've got there's, uh, there's uh, I, I think they call it um Turtle, Turtle Beach, yeah, um, out towards Moroni, and uh, it took until now, and they would have thousands of people there over a few period, uh, a period of a few days, and everybody's crapping in the water, and they said, "Well, build the toilets," and they didn't build the toilets, and then all of a sudden people started to get sick, yeah, right. and then all of a sudden they built the toilets. <laughs> yeah. you know? So maybe we should actually get. Um, Daniel Andrews and Anthony um, Morrison, Scott Morrison, I mean, down there to have a look at the bridge, and then we'll scope on Dan Andrews and he'll some water! No, let them, right. then let them scope over the, um, the experience. Oh. Look, you don't know these things. No, you know, sorry, sorry about that. A lot of people have said, like, uh, yeah, he's been one state most of their lives. Not many people get the opportunity to go and do that all that training. Now, what we've been doing, and the truckies do it as well, so. And we were, we were just having dinner earlier that dawn of me, and I, put, I picked up that magazine, what's it called? This, this, uh, what's that is it, that trucking magazine? What's the title of it? Owner Driver. Owner Driver. driver. No, it's a these, these aren't owner drivers, these are multi-millionaires. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I don't see yeah, anybody yeah. like Mick and Rick fucking transport. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 I'm going about the Coburn. Going about the Coburn. You mean Mick and Scomo? Yeah, I'll scomo that right up the clacker, I guarantee you. Yeah, 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 it's all a big scam because I, I I went to Victoria to prove a point that you can do it and be oh geez apparently obedient okay mm. and you don't have to be you don't and it's just people that have more than five or six vehicles there is no bloke that makes two hundred thousand dollars a year and and pays a hundred thousand dollars in in fees. These are got look at the, these. Yeah, they've they got, they got, they got multi million. They got multi million dollars. So what dollars. is this though? Because I mean, so what is it? See, look at it. Oh, how, okay. how can I take my truck to a truck show with that and go? You know what? That might have cost you half a million dollars, and and you might make three million dollars in a year, but that doesn't make it because that's part of everything else. If you look at it, the mm. all these guys, their trucks and that. But they don't look like trucks that get used. <laughs> They're not used. So they're they're not not they're, 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 air, they're heirlooms that well, are yeah. that are restored. Well, that's not yeah. And, and used. Well, they're, as, show cards. As, they're, they're figureheads to show they're show they're figureheads to the parent company, oh. and that's a sense of pride. Okay, so you always find a young fella that will restore Granddad's old Mac. Okay. 100%. Lovingly, beautifully. Yeah. Okay. Sentimental value. But you know what, mate? I, I, I couldn't I couldn't change a set of tyres on that truck in a good year. Mm, right. See? Because I'm I'm still struggling with just coming to terms with having. Okay, I put, I put my vehicle in last week there for a, a service and it was twenty two hundred dollars. All right. Because you're owner driver, Mick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an owner driver. Yeah. Then they said to me, "Well, that wasn't your." Um, Certificate of um, inspection. That was just your roadworthiness the certificate. So it was one hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Anyway, it was twenty-two hundred, twenty-two hundred dollars. I had to book it in next week in mm -hmm. in Rockhampton, and uh, with what they initially gave me as a, a guide, yeah, right. okay. is another eight thousand six hundred dollars. So that's what I'm up for. There's a cop on the week. At the end of the week. Next week, on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. And how are you going with the fuel rolls, mate? How did the uh, fuel oh, look, mate, hey, when you pay $650, $700 for, for not 280 litres of fuel, that's a problem because that's that's only about yeah, $1,000 just... in... in uh, that's only about yeah. 1000 kilometres in travel. Yeah. I was mm. just reading that, that magazine thing. It was the front page. It was the editor's. The editor's story, he gave him, he gave another magazine, and it was going on about the fuel excise, and it was, and there was some devil in the detail of that because the 22, I'm oh, sorry, what the percentage of the, the, the fuel excise that they just cut, all the local. Okay, all yeah, the, yeah, you think yeah, about, you think no, 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 about, no. you think about that monopoly that is shrinking. Oh, we know, we've got to get back to this, but yeah, well, we'll, 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 well let's go. This is a separate segment, but it's, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. guys, this is awesome because we've got the, we've got the bus out the front. And to be honest, Mick might have to get that job to bring it up to town. Yeah, that'd be good. So I take it off for me, so Mick, yeah, most uh, certainly. So as you can see, it's absolutely scomo Dan Andrews to the pants. I'm still thinking it's going to float away. Every even the tr other drivers are saying, mate, that absolute scomo Dan Andrews bloke who drove can that I bus in there. Can you just it says you can see on that white line I went outside and I put... So that is you, Johnny Q, sitting in the passenger side of the... Yeah. Of the Lindsay oh, Ridge. Right, right, right. the Lindsay Ridge. Yeah, gotcha. And that, that bit of grass, clump of grass I put on the wall end, I was just put there at the watermark earlier on just to see if it was going to come up and come down. On the, just in the... On the right front of the line there. Yeah, and you can yeah, see the water yeah. going down from it. And that's when the when the road crew rocked up. That's exactly what they did. They just went up with some chalk on the white line and started marking to see which I was going to go. So, but we've already been sort of uh, sussing it out. So we think it's is it going up or down? I'm I'm thinking I've lost. I'm thinking I've lost. The that there it was taking about fifteen minutes. To just move just out. pause it for two seconds, guys. Now I was west of Toowoomba in November 
in a little tiny town called Tarun. The room. And Tarun. Oh, Tarun. Yeah. They had that shut off from Rome. Right. So you just put that timeline together. Oh, when, when did you say? Tarun. In yeah, November. When? November. November last year. Right. We are talking four months of non-seasonal oh. torrential fucking oh, torrential snow mode rain. I see what you're saying. saying. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to put a snow mode down and I'm right. mopping up what you're spilling. They right? cut it through the inland route, uh, through Grantham, through Toowoomba, through Dolby, uh, right up through... Um, I'm going to know what you're saying. Now, yeah. All right. And then when it's not there, then it's on the coast. Right. And if you have a look at the 25 to 30 kilometre stretches of roadworks that are happening that restrict your travel to 60 kilometres an hour in some places, and a lot of places, 40 kilometres an hour, whereby it can Bottle increase neck. your travel from Brisbane to Bottle Mackay yeah. by at least two hours, you know, at yeah. least, yeah. at least. So, so what basically you're saying, are you obviously saying they're setting this up to happen anyway? Well, see, what they're doing is they're setting it up so that what happens is when the rain hits, it's hitting areas that they're doing roadworks that are going to be affected and extend that process. Ah, whoever's got the... And whoever's... Got the corporation right, so, that okay. owns that roadwork so, group so, gets right. more work. Okay, so and then when, the, the when you see... The money, you Rick, see, you're on a When you see <laughs> the Benara Vita Jin Jin electronic sign that says from September 21 to uh, March or April 2022, then that, yeah, that's, not even, that's not even a Now, this is another thing, and this is where you get the plot thickens because <laughs> you'll see all the signs after some work's been done on Federal Highway and Upgrade or what, it will say that the oh, federal right. government, okay. the federal so, government has, has put right. a lane to it. So I was actually tempted to stop on my way out of Serena this morning. There's a little placard off to the left hand side on the highway, and it's got Australian government. Um, commitment to National Highway Upgrade is $3 billion. But that sign in itself was overtaken by grass. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I saw it months I ago know. and I know what that sign is. Yeah, right. So when I went past it again, you couldn't actually see anything of the sign, just a, a little few strands of... Oh, the like, federal government table, that's see? the state's government table. Yeah, that's right. they go and do but it. they've got a $3 billion yeah. commitment to National Highway Upgrade. Right. No, they haven't. No, that, again, <laughs> unless, unless you live in vital areas, see, then they're going to pay a little bit more attention to you because, hang on, we need to get you from where you are right now into our Wagner's Wolf Camp. So that was the stuff. Oh, 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 Wagner's oh, right. Wolf Camp. So, facility. Facility. so that when months. you've been flooded out of your territory because, oh, it's oh so unseasonal and blah, blah, grandma would never have said this was going to happen. And hang on, down and hang on. on, we'll give you a unit right here on this thing. Hang on, don't worry about the barbed wire on the fences Did and the, yeah, the dead <laughs> raccoons that have been electrocuted. We'll look after you, OK? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we'll put a gas to the caravan parks. That's like exactly that. what it is. And, and it's Rackham and Stackham. Population solutions. Well, okay. that's another thing, though. This is, this okay, is three, okay. three men having a super rant. Here we go. That's what we'll actually title this. But um, so I'll just stop it for a minute because um, Mitch is you know, <coughs> getting some cordial. Uh, because that's what he does. We, we he likes to do it. Hang on. No, 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 we're going to keep going. Man, I'm going to... We're just going to stop on the phone. 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 Okay, so this is Mixer's going to the toilet. And we'll just take care well, of him. He's smashing the business. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not driving in the US. Nah, so, so this happens for a reason. <laughs> so... Um, did some pretty good close-up stuff as well. Yeah, right? Is it playing out, John? No, it's absolutely not. Oh, it's down there. We're doing 100 miles an hour. Um, Stand by, I'll reset it. So while we're running at the moment, we're just going to wait until Mick comes back and we're just going to show him the rest of this broadcast from here.
Um, it's interesting to speak about what's going on up here and seeing it first hand, Johnny. Oh, you're doing that right, aren't you? Yeah. So, I just find it really amazing. It's just such a common problem, they can't fix it. You know, you know, if you think about the bridges and everything they've built in Melbourne and Sydney and everything, or the amount of money they've done, and you know, you know building, you know, getting rid of all the railway bridges in Melbourne, yeah. crossing, railway crossings, making all underground bridges, you go, okay, well, why can't you make one here? Why can't, if you can't build a bridge, why don't you make a tunnel? Look, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe this happened to me and us on a on a national highway. Now we have lost internet for a minute because we were using the uh, hotspot and I forgot to uh, plug it in. Now we lost power. So So, do you want to? If you want, what we can do is. Well, Johnny, I'm going to need your skills. So stand by, guys. All right. So let's get straight back into this. As you can see, it's still raining, so I'm expecting a lot more rain to come. I'm, I'm still thinking, thinking it's going to rise. Johnny's already worked out it's dropping, but I still think it's going to rise. And it's just, no, it's been a major experience, I'll tell you what. And no reception there. That's another, that's a really another bad thing. That it's, it's, a, it's a known trouble spot, no reception there, and they've installed a, a flood camera there that's still not operational. And there's also the box of the flood camera, uh, Brian, uh, Brian pointed out. He goes, have a look at how low the actual the camera box is. It's under the water. It's not going to last long there, right? I know, they're really dead and there's no one up to it. And so, and also, so another thing is, in the, um, in the, in the traffic jam with all the trucks, there was this truck here, Johnny, you might as well take it from here, or, or you can word it uh, and explain it's what it's Oh, well, it was the, bo- oh, well, yeah, the boys um, in the truckies were up, up, up the road a bit, um, saying there was this tow truck driver, and um, they sort of got out of the car and went out chat to him and said, mate, you want to go down the front and see if you can help these guys in, because we're going to get this road opened up. Remember, all the truckies were starting to get a bit irate. Yeah, that was another thing. We were sitting in the cab, Brian, right and yeah. all, all the comments were coming through the CV, so we, we just had the comments sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but they were saying like, mate, that Dan Andrews ScoMo bloke has just done that. It's absolutely Dan Andrews and ScoMo's that up, mate. What an absolute ScoMo he was, you know? It was oh, unreal. Anyway, keep going. So yeah, his name is Muhammad. So he came down and I said, look, mate, you just want to give it a crack and we'll go. So again, I went out there. And I had to see the water's a lot calmer then, so I sort of waited out there. It was only sort of ankle deep or whatever, but um, we just went up and got some chains and hooked it up to, they had a couple of lugs on the back of the trailer. So we hooked up to the trailer and, and see if we can come out. And you'll see the van as we come in here and play, Johnny. I was just gonna say, look, I was just gonna say, and it was calmer, so you can see we we honestly did hit the torrent. It was just at that right time, you can, it tells, it shows, because it's not doing that anymore. So, and it wasn't doing it when we actually got in there, so, it was also bad timing, and mate, we're stuck between buses. I just feel so stupid. I really am so sorry. It's a huge body of water, though, when you look at it off to your left and your right. Massive body of water, mate. Massive okay. body. And, and I, 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 I was out in uh, west of or around Longreach and that like, the other day, and there are huge bodies of water that are still just laying dormant. They they haven't run anywhere. Yeah, yeah, right on. Give me a second, let's keep this running. So you'll see that um, Johnny's got organised with... Uh, Johnny's oh, got... Well, so, no, I didn't see, I, I, was, I wasn't together. But, well, you knock yourself there, so you're suffering concussion as well, so... Oh, you can scan out the pile there. Major pile. Yeah, no, 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 out of the way, out of the way. And that's another thing, mate. There's a lot of shock. What, you, what you've done, Johnny, you, you just, mate, you, your skill and ability is just shown today. Because um, I can do it, what you'll do. Hey, Joe, I'm ready to be Well, the car was the start of that, man. But you know, look, that's dawning in anybody's eyes. Like, I mean, that's just, uh, that's just torrential. There's Muhammad, what a suit, man. And there's no Superman now, it's Johnny, I don't know if you know him, but I'm not going to wait to him. The gun, I couldn't do it, and if he, if he didn't do this, it would have still been there. Because yeah, I... Yeah, look, uh, when all this came, this sort of stuff came in, all the rig, rig work that I've done a couple of years, you know, you're working with wenches, and you know, you're doing this stuff flying out every day. You're not sort of catching this sort of stuff out, but you're hanging off the side of a rig, 120 foot up there, you've got to trust your equipment, you've got to, you know... I think I was actually telling Muhammad, I'll go into the safety tips too, because you're standing on top of that tray, 
while the um, while I was getting wenched up. And I said, mate, I said, you want to get off that train? I said, if that line goes, it's going to cut your feet, just cut your ankles off straight off. He yeah. yeah. was onto it. He was all over. He was, he was, he was a legend. Of play. And uh, he just, this is all off his own joke. He's just and coming down. When he rocked up, I was still, I was a bit sort of, yeah, full on in the moment. And I thought that someone had like, rang a tow truck driver. And it well, took me there 20 minutes to figure out that he's just being on his own back. <laughs> he, was, he was actually trying to go on the other side of the river. He was going to pick up two cars for himself and then drive back to Brizzy. And you can still see, see there's, there's that piece of grass in the market. But it was raining and I'm thinking, damn, it's going to come back up again. Like, so man. We had to get it out. We didn't know what was going to happen. And this is the tennis. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. That was a close call, that one. I mean, it doesn't matter. It still happened. <laughs> oh my god, love, love that, love that uh, now. This is after that. Now, I tell you and, what, and, and this is part of our national highway. That's right. Yeah, part of that. This is a, if, if you can imagine how many people have traversed through from Brisbane yeah. to Townsville, okay, and this is what That's they've got to pass through. Right. There is no, there is no part B unless you want to go hinterland, right. and a lot of people won't because of, of fear of uh, being stranded. There's a massive. But this is what you've got on the coast. How is, how is this being flooded in any different to being out on the Barclay Highway? The right when thing. you've got no fuel and no water, mm. how is it any different? Like I mean, they're. They're setting us up to fail. They no, they, 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 they're setting us up to fail because they know that people travel and they know that they're going to come and see grandma and granddad. And after two years of COVID, people are going to do what? Okay, travel. They don't actually have. You're going to travel. To, they don't have enough control over this rain to be able to say this is when we can shut it off. And this they is know when they initiate oh. it, and they know approximately what it's going to produce. What the outcome is, they certainly cannot predict. I don't think they can. And this, no, is, this is, uh, this this is, is where, no, this this is is where yeah. we have everyday Australians now that are supporting each other into a point whereby people are actually in financial ruin mm. trying to get from point A to point B. Okay? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you lost your vehicle, if you had these expenses, that would put families in ruin. That's right. Now this is what you were looking at the National Highway. That they're spending all this money on the, on this on on new submarines, and that's cool, that's fine. But this isn't just today. And Mick has told me this happens three or four times a year for the last thirty or forty years. Well, I said that was patched up less than a month ago. And look at that patch sitting right there. Less than less than two uh, less than two months ago, and hundred and seventy kilometres from here in the south was where you saw the ATV hooked up in the power lines. Kippy. Oh. Yep. It's only 170 kilometres from here, mate. Yeah. I saw that photo. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. So that was back in when? Yeah. And now we're getting it here. This is not seasonal. Mate, I... I this is yeah. structured and it is... Not it. seasonal. Right, you got you. Okay. you got, I, I get That's it really right. quickly. OK, look, so look, look. You, you're looking at if not more, uh, war, more widespread, okay, because long reach... I ain't global warming, long, they're using that reach, too. Long reach is 757 kilometres from Rockhampton, okay? You are only 300 kilometres from Rockhampton. So if you put that into scope, you know what Okay, yeah, and been. you will look... And then, so this okay, part of the road should have a lot more here, Gimby, it's not that. here in Gimby is only 165 kilometres. Yeah. And you're going from Gimby to Grantham, which is uh, Toowoomba, which is around 75, 80 minutes west of Brisbane, mm. is flooded now as well. Oh, this you is can't, you, you can't get through there. Yeah. yeah. So all these people will cut off again? All, they're all cut off again. So you're getting cut off two years by government. You're getting cut off and then 300 kilometres north of Brisbane to 100, to even, well, oh, Jesus Christ. Why? Right. To 700 kilometres west. Exactly. To south, south 
Is that when you get the scum and the dead well, Andrews out of it? The only reprieve you get... Possibly. The only repri- reprieve you get is between the Gold Coast and over the Tweed. And then after that, you've got Lismore. Well, and that's the start of the smart city. Yes, yeah, so I was just about... I'm glad you said that. Oh, because that's going to... All right, so you leave, you leave, you leave the tourist tunnel... Off to the left, yeah, and then all of a sudden you can create a midland stream tunnel from yeah, Robbie's land to. And that's what they're talking about doing. In about two and a half hours, you would get there. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the main main highway, and this is the absolute. This is. I mean, it's happening for many many years. This is another scenario we couldn't um, get the truck on. I told you about this with uh, Muhammad. What a legend! He tried his best, didn't he? Yeah, that, okay. we'll pop my eyes here. So a little bit overweight. <laughs> but the thing was that Muhammad... You're not driving into Goat Hills in, in Pakistan now there, brother. Uh, look, I, I went up to him and I said, look, what are you, what are you doing? And he said, look, I'm trying to get, go get two, two of my own cars and drive back to Brisbane. I said, well, you're not getting... I asked and then I walked up to the road yeah. group. You, you basically up, broke its back. I went up to the road group and I said to the supervisor, I said, what time are you going to be finished here? And he said, probably about five o'clock. Oh. So I turned around to uh, Muhammad and said, well, you're not going to get through to get your cars, mate. How about you do a job with that? Okay. okay. So this is where we need to hit a quick rewind because you can't broadcast an image like that and associate it to a man named Muhammad. Change the nationality of that man, for God's sake. Maggie Myers said, at least if everybody will see a little bit of humour in it. Yeah, exactly. But if you put a... <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Ali, that's the name of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This six-ton truck that you'd like to put on the back of your four-ton truck. Yeah, yeah. How would you like a fastball? <laughs> well, look, you said on the back two wheels, or is it going to be on the back of another semi trailer? You said you used to work on the rigs, Nick. Yes, mate, I did. And the boys on the rigs, they uh, quite often get after jobs. Oh, mate, yes, most certainly. Do things that maybe push the limits a little bit. Oh. That was the rig. <laughs> I think I want to. I think I want to coach Patty into having a crack. <laughs> but anyway, so we we went to Plan B. We said pull the pin, you know, pull the pin. Plan B was all right. How about we just get the trailer, put that on there, and uh, take us back to Ginger. Would have actually bet as to which one of you was serious as to how well that was going to go from when it started to when it ended. <laughs> Well, because that, yeah, yeah, defy, that well, just does defy the laws of physics. Yeah, well, <laughs> and I'm right here in his little, in his little, uh, what do they call it, high fees. He's forever the old. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sorry. Right, Mr. Kane, put you on the side of yourself. He was bad. He was, he was bad with that. He was really bad. Like, he was tired, wow. shocked. He cast the whole lot. And this is the trucks. Now, have a good look at this. This is all night. And this is on this I told road. you, John A., from when you were about to cross that border, that there was no way that you were going to get anywhere near Townsville before the end of the next day. Can, can, can you, They're just, it's too hard a miles, mate. Can you not, can you not, Dan Andrews, <laughs> Scott, I say that? Don't go on Dan Andrews, my damn, let's go my show, let's go my Andrews, let's go my, let's Dan Andrews. Because you're an experienced truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Professional. Yeah. Professional. Yeah. Don't get off. You see the rest of these professional truck drivers that can't get anywhere. It's because there's a professional truck driver <laughs> that said that he was a professional truck driver. And unfortunately, he wasn't. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Was that Johnny Cantone that was just in front there? Uh, <laughs> he's got a Johnny Scarrow, Dan Andrews, Cantone. Oh, my God. Oh, 
gosh, I don't get the hell out of the lineup. Look, it's, it's funny now because we're all laughing. And, like, like, and, 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 and this whole thing, thing, the worst, <laughs> okay, here is the yeah. crux of the problem. Yeah. So much of this load is going to get there useless. Yes. Yeah. Well said. No, yeah. And, no, and, and really... businesses are burying the expenses of yeah. getting the cost of these products there. Yeah, I'm with you. And, and, and I'm nobody's with you. accountable. Yeah. Oh, that me? That's right. And that road should be, and, and, and it's not just me, it's anybody hey, else that's gone and done Again, it. again, if it comes down to per capita density and it adds to kilometres of highway, yeah. Queensland should have the best roads in Australia. And it doesn't, you were saying? Oh, no, no. He's been, you've been from yeah, Townsville to Melbourne as well. the worst. If you go north of, if you go north of Townsville, it actually says to visit this town in uh, South Africa that says that they have better roads. It's a billboard. It's, it's a huge billboard. So, and, and, and this, this is, you're talking about 50 years or more of roads that they're really neglected. And for that to happen, What's for that to happen... Up, yeah. Yeah. But see, the, what is going it, on it, here, mate? It's all part of the main... Well, it, to, I, to, I, I, okay, consider it a tilting of senses, all right? You're going to get so used to the roadworks that you're not going to actually see what's really happening. Because when you get home of an afternoon, you've had to spend another hour, hour and a half in the vehicle. You don't really give a flying fuck whether Joe Bloss next door has to take a, a, a boy out from the government to let the road run through. Yeah, I understand. Be here a lot. Yep. That's wrong. So right. it, it, it's, it's burying the senses. It's about not no, even no, 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 when you when you can pull out onto the A1 coming into Cairns and from 28 kilometres out, there is roadworks from there from into Smithfield into fucking Cairns, oh, into yeah, yeah. Scomo Cairns, and <laughs> it's down to 40 kilometres now. Yeah. Oh my and that's God, absolutely man. Dan Andrews' whole thing up. It, it, it completely scammed the whole shit show, I guarantee you. <laughs> no, because no, it, no, it, it, no, it, no those, those words are pal show and plebiscite, I think. Pelletry. Pelletry. Pile of shit. Pile of shit. Pile of That makes it. Dan, Dan Andrews' plebiscite. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Now, let's, okay, now, getting really serious. Um, jo uh, Johnny Q, we're going to wrap it up here, and, and Mick, before we do, and when we do, uh, actually, before we do... Big shout-out to Lindsay's Transport, their draw, uh, Brian, thanks, mate. Appreciate your efforts. Um, not everyone does that, and you stood up to the plate, mate, and I really appreciate it. On behalf of all of us, thank you very much, and bar for my kids, <laughs> and my mum. <laughs> yeah, and my thanks, kids mate. and my wife, too. I mean, we, we, if no one did it, I guess we would have thought that we had, had to have jumped, even though we realised that afterwards the water didn't get, actually get any higher, so we could have actually stayed in there and just broadcast inside there and just been chilled, but that was, in hindsight, it's always different. But yeah. So what he did was... Um, he, he obviously knew it was to a point quite safe, and you saw that huge slab of uh, tarmac that I obviously got ripped up with a lot of the reason why he didn't move back. Did really well, so um, yeah, uh, thanks to him, he's, yeah, uh, we're, we're, all, well, we're all sorted, and I think it's fantastic. And thanks to you, and me not listening to absolute word you said, or being realised that <laughs> I should have, that you did say, Jin Jin, don't stop there! Yeah. Right? Or if you get in there, you have to, you have to, but me, yeah. just really quickly, I don't know if you want to, but if you do, for our listeners, to support you and your business, you are our owner, driver and transporter as well, if you'd like to let them know your business name and details, etc., so they can call you to transport. Tell, or, maybe tell people what you got to, Mick, so they know what you can actually transport. Does that, does that help or not at all? If there's a dollar sign attached to it, I'll move it from A to B, and I'll do it with a smile. And what's the business name and contact data? It's Mick and Rick Tran M and R Transport, O four one nine two two one two five nine. I'll do houses. I'll do furniture. I'll do f uh, farm implements, vehicles, whatever. And you see, good. beautiful little jersey that it travels with Mick as well. Oh yeah, right, on, mate. Look at a good photo. Actually, I've got a good photo of him. Jersey oh, we'll put that up. Yeah, we'll put that up too. So, yeah. mate, God bless you, and um, thank you. And also, Brian and everybody else, Thanks, and, I, and I do apologise. 
Uh, mate, it's fantastic to actually catch up. I'm glad that I did it now because I got to catch up with you. Maybe God said, you know what, Johnny, you do have to stop here because Mick's told you, you're stuffed you know, up, now you're going to have to come see him. My, my, my credo you know, is, mate, you're only able to meet people for a reason and it's up to you to work out whether it's a positive or a negative. Oh, bloody negative, okay. mate. So, so you, can never, you can never ever say when that effect is going to come into, but you just have to allow time to take its Take its course. Mate, what a perfect night, what a great time, and mate, the epic 2022 road trip, Johnny G, Johnny C, catching up with Mick as well. Uh, Mike, keep going, and May in tonight, we've been told that we've got the bus, we've got the bus, it's running well, it's one or two things, we may be leaving it here, Mick might be the one who has to transport it up there later. That'd be nice, that'd be fair. I'd be more than happy to gentlemen, uh, happy to help gentlemen. Okay, people. God bless, keep smiling, be good to each other because it changes the world, just like Mick helps us change our world as well with his input tonight, which is absolutely fantastic. And remember, to replace your profanities, if you like, with any politician that you don't like, and just like we deal with, Dan Andrews and Scamo. So, you exactly right. God bless, speak to you later. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. You can gill that right up your clacker. <laughs> you can gill